with Wilson. To the right side, and he's got more complete. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 30-yard line. From the shotgun, Wilson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Third play here this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. For the Seattle Seahawks. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. Here's Carson. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Another big play there by Aaron Donald, the NFL's Defensive Player of the Year in 2017 and 18. We know he can rush the passer. He's also dominant in the run game. The quickness for a man his size often defeats the offensive lineman trying to block him. Wilson's pass. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. It's a gain of six. Brings up third and five. From the gun, it's Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First and ten at the 38-yard line. Option play, and Wilson's going to run with it. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. The tackle by Troy Reed. Second and five. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 33-yard line. From the gun, Wilson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And a loose football. And now the Rams have got it. Going the other way. Wilson's pass. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at about the 32. <laughs> Following the fumble recovery, Golf. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by Quandre Diggs. And a great return as he takes us up just shy of the 45. Certainly not the cleanest of starts to this football game. Back-to-back -back plays yield turnovers in this first quarter. So there's not much flow right now. A very choppy game. And I know this. It's a copycat league. We say it all the time about the NFL, but I'm not quite sure this is what they had in mind about something they wanted to emulate. No, you don't want to emulate a turnover. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and On second and seven. Wilson. A quick target here. Complete to Metcalf. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. They run it with Carson. Wilson with the handoff. The UCLA product, Kenny Young, had the tackle. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And five. Check 26, check 26. First carry for Carlos Hyde. And some nice running going to get him down close to a first down at the Rams 30. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. That's a very nice game there. Confidence building run. Love the execution up front, and the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Now Wilson on first down. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. Wilson's pass. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. It's second and inches. They'll try and run the option left side. And he'll be brought down in first. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. First and 10 at the 19-yard line. Operating from the gun, Wilson. Looking for Lockett, and it's intercepted. 
Picked off down near the five. Uh, they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Brings up second and two. Now a run with Akers, and they're able to bring him down at the 20. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision, just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Off play action to Akers, here's Goff. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards, the final tally. It's a game of 20. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. Goff throwing complete to Cup. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Unnecessary roughness. Defense. A little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow. And he didn't on that play. They'll run this with Akers. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. No gain on They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. On the Seahawks, 10-yard line. Out of the gun. Gone. Flush to his right. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. That's the end of the first We're scoreless after one. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. back drive right there through the pick on drive number one drive number two leads them right down the field into the end zone agree totally excellent bounce back tremendous poise confidence never lost and obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well but a really nice drive seven extra point by gay is up and good and that makes the score seven nothing after the touchdown it's gay to kick this one away The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many right on the spot. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, We'll call this play significant. Right. 
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Carson. On the stop was Aaron Donald. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Aaron, the Seahawks on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and four. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And that's good. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Wilson on target there to Moore. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the play. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now Wilson. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. And Russell Wilson gets sacked, and he tied for the most sacks in the NFL last season with 48 in total. But Seattle likes to throw the ball deep. So that means you're going to take more time to get the ball downfield. Sometimes the offensive line can't hold up, and he ends up hitting the deck on those plays. He will push his way down to about the 14. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Brings up third and eight. From the gun, Wilson. Yeah, a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. That was a nice throw out there into the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. And Myers able to knock it through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11 play drive. Well, Parker, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? Webster on the return. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 27 yard line. LA readies for its next position. to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 34-yard line. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Henderson will try to run for the first. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. He was taken down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. It showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Off play action. Here's Goff. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason. late big plays. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Call it a gain of 14 for the second play in a row. 
Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Put the play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line. Second and goal. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Now Goff on third and goal. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Goff and Tyler Higby hooking up. And the Rams add on to their lead. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Out comes Chris Carson in the Seattle offense. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call him the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. But forget the run on third and one. They shot the D and rip off a pretty big play. Still all sorts of time left in this game, and you'd like to be able to say, take it one play at a time. But the truth is, the are going to have to hit on a few big plays in the passing game to close this gap, and that's a good start right there. Yeah, the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go. Tap. Throwing again on second down. Wilson flushed out right. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Operating from the gun, Wilson. His pass caught at the 4. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Well, what a stand this would be if they can get the stop here. Third and goal. Hey, From the gun, Wilson. Yeah, he's and he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Myers' kick is good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to now. 
So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. First and 10 at their own 25 yards. Jared Goff and the Rams headed back onto the field. Now he's looked pretty good. Does have the one interception, but two touchdown passes so far. Your analysis. They'll take the offset. When you talk about throwing two touchdown passes, no one wants to see an interception thrown, but those things happen in the course of a ball game and over the course of the season. But throwing two touchdown passes, that's why the team has an advantage. That's what they're looking for more of. He'll be hoping to make it a three-to-one ratio here in the second quarter. On first and ten, gone. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. And incomplete. It's the An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. A shotgun snap for Gong. That's taken in by Henderson. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So now third and 10, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. The final shot before break here, gone. And that is incomplete. So we are at halftime here on Christmas Eve. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half from the former number one overall pick, Jared Goff. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. On the return, it's Simba Webster. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Rams take over first and 10. At their Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're... He's got the lane, and there he goes. Touchdown, L.A. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Rams add on to their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as Reed opts for the touchback. Here comes the Seahawks offensive unit. They'll have it first to begin the third. They've probably got some adjustments to make because they've moved the football okay at times, but they haven't been able to get anything consistently going, have they? What you worry about is it almost turns into a basketball game where one team's coming down and hitting threes, and you're coming back and getting twos, and you steadily lose ground. In this situation, you're talking about touchdowns to field goals. They want to put in the end zone and put those sixes on the board. Yeah, they've been settling. That's why they're down on the scoreboard right now. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. On second and 11 now. Wilson, that's caught by Hollister. And up and down. 12 yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. This is Carson. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. 
Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun. Wilson rolling to his right. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it. He puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. They decide against going for it on for this may of their offense, but hey, a nice consolation prize down inside the five. Nice consolation prize indeed. So maybe the offense is upset, but they show confidence in their defense by punting it away. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. On the ground, it's Akers. And he will double the space they have to work with as they take it from the two to the four. Jaron Reed on the last run got a couple here second and eight. Well, not a game that you're going to go crazy about, but when you start at your own two-yard line, any type of space is good for the offensive guys. Yeah, you just can't go backwards from here. They did it. Now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And it's third down. Throwing on third, gone. They got him, and it's Woods. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That gain on third down, good for 20. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Goff now looks to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll run here with Akers. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. They lost four there, and it's third down. That's a nice job there, foiling what all offense is trying to do, which is control the defensive end in the running game. They want to get to the outside, and if he keeps himself free, stays on his feet, he can make a play just as he did there. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Henderson going to run for it. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. And defensive back Jamal Adams in on the stop. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Second and seven. Going right back to eight. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Man open. It's Cup. He's got it. 
And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. They'll run here with Henderson, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Darryl Henderson, the that gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. From the gun on third down, gone. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Four touchdown passes now for Jared Goff. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. That drive felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. At their own 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Like big time. To throw again on second down. Wilson. And it's a quick slant to lock it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. They'll run the screen with Carson. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Seattle, Washington. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Throwing again here, Wilson sliding out of the pocket. Now he'll pull it down. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Second and 10, 44-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. He'll buy some time right. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. The best quarterbacks that ever played the game all wanted to blend in with their teammates and be one of the guys. But sometimes you got to take modesty and put it aside. You're the franchise quarterback, the face of the team, and the guy that leads. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit. This is caught inside the 15. And they move this all the way down to the 9. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks are able to cut into that deficit. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. The two-point conversion is no good. It's funny to me because we actually keep it with us during games. And I notice you cradling the football. You get it tucked As pretty we tight speak. with the points of pressure here. And that didn't occur on that play, did it? No, you saying I wouldn't have fumbled if I was you down You would there? not have fumbled. You got that thing locked in tight. I also have really large biceps. The Rams take over first and 10 
at their own. Get a look at this offense led by Cooper Cup as they make their way back onto the field. They have to like what they've gotten from him in this game. Think about the accumulation of catches. Eight. The yards per catch now, because you're getting more than a first down every time he's touched. They've got his man complete. Touchdown, L.A. Robert Woods, 76 yards. And the Rams add on to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? And this will come out to the 25 as Reed opts for the touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 36 power. From the gun, it's Wilson. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And now the Rams have got it. Going the other way. Touchdown, L.A. Matt Gay on for the point after. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. They were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Fielded in the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as Reed opts for the touchback. At their own 25 yards. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive, then suddenly the fumble, and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. There's not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. You just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Short throw to Disley. That catch good for only a couple. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. And the Seahawks on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and eight. Here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. And they stop him up short of the, about the 43. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. The Seahawks will go for it. It's Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10, down at the 33. Again, Wilson. Short throw to Disley. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That's another Seahawks first down. Wilson will throw again. Out to the right, he gets it to lock it. Then he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. On second down, it's Carson. Now Carson fumbles the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. Two yards. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations 
where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. From the gun to give to Henderson. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Out of the gun. Gone. And it's caught inside the 30. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 36 yards on the play. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Out of the gun, they give to Henderson. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. They may have the edge on the scoreboard, but that hasn't made them passive, has it? I mean, they've, they dialed up a pretty good run blitz there. And, and, and Brandon, you know that all blitzes aren't just designed to get to the quarterback and the passer. Sometimes you're just trying to take away every gap, every hole that might be created in the running game. And they did it to perfection and caused a fumble there. Took away the gaps, took away the holes, took away the football. Three yards the gain there, second down. Brings up second and seven at the 27-yard line. From the shotgun, Wilson. Left side complete to Lockett. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now Wilson on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. From midfield now, here's Wilson. A quick target here, complete to Metcalf. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late, but he does get in for your grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. And nothing too crazy there. A quick slant, and then he just had a seam. He found a seam. And when you hit it on the run like that, and I mean the pass right to the receiver who's already in motion and moving, sometimes he just takes it and runs away from everyone else. And he ran it into the end zone. And the defense, they've got to adjust there quickly. That's tough on them. That's really tough because everything was executed well. Balls out of his hands quickly, into the hands of the receiver, and then he was gone. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault him for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. For Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gott, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Seattle, so long, everybody.